This book evolved out of a series of research projects that I started really dating back to graduate school in 2010. I did a dissertation on the phenomenon of universities litigating their patents. Uh, often universities are sued for things that they do, but it's unusual for them to be out front and in actually initiating lawsuits. Some of the most surprising things are just how vast the activity is. So this book really looks at how is higher education interacting with intellectual property? What kind of rights are they claiming? And then what are they doing with those rights? How are they enforcing them? And what I found was a lot of universities are really all over the board in their approach to this matter. They're focused on amassing rights and then not necessarily using them in the public's interest. So this book is really a, about trying to shed light on these activities and question whether they're in the public's interest. And if they're not, how can we change them? This is really the first book that explains intellectual property to the layperson, and in particular looks how it functions in higher education. So there are a lot of books out there about intellectual property that are written for lawyers. This is not a book written for lawyers. This is written for anyone interested in the future of higher education. The idea is you'll pick up this book, you'll understand what intellectual property means, from reading the introductory chapter, and then you'll understand why this matters in higher education. A lot of people say intellectual property, it's hot, it's big right now, particularly in higher ed. People have heard terms like copyright, trademark, and patent, but they don't really understand what they mean or what are the implications of how these different legal tools are being used in higher education. And the branding of the American mind explains all of that.